hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where we need to put our armor back on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, it's like you've unlocked it. Yes, I have. And I have my sword and sword on. Perfect. Um, I was told that I'm getting close to the point where this main mission, there's no going back. Um, so we're gonna take it a little easy maybe and uh go ahead and ooh. oh three percent chance of stun sure we'll put up we'll get like a five percent stun chance that's pretty good um, or put there, put that one, sure, why not? That takes up even more, less, more, takes away more, I don't know, words. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just kind of water around for a bit. Um, I hope that's alright. Um, let's see, what do we have? I was told also that just wandering around is a good idea. Um, that, that, uh, there are some quests that you won't get on the notice board. Um, but, oh, first, 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 I have to go and put, before we do anything, I have to go put some stuff in my house. Um, also there was something that was apparently close to the armor Ugh. here that I, I don't, there was something, what? I don't know, I read a bunch of comments, like, like, in the last couple days, I'll have to double check. Also, also, slight spoilers, maybe. Um, I, I, I was told to watch the Witcher Three trailers, which there was like forty minutes of trailers, like total, and I was like, holy crap, um, because there was something in those trailers that would relate to something that had happened recently in the game, and I was about four minutes into this like thirty-eight minute video of like all the Witcher Three trailers, and I saw it, and I was like, ah, spoiler. That duchess lady, not the dead, not that duchess, but the other lady whose face I commented on. I was like, oh, it's a really well rendered face, and she's the one who has like the jewel of whatever, you know. Um, she's a vampire. She's a hundred percent a vampire. But in the trailer, it looks like Geralt. Uh, you know, Geralt obviously knows who she is and is going to kill her. Um, <laughs> and like chops her arm off. <laughs> Which, you know, because she's a higher vampire, so she can regenerate. I don't know if he actually killed her or not. And I don't know if there. I mean, obviously he didn't. Well, I mean, actually, he might have. That's right. Because he, he can't kill one fully, but he could have, like, sort of pretend to kill her, and then she could just come back, I guess. But if the trailer was canon, then he'd obviously know who she was. But yeah, I totally guessed she was a vampire, and I was right. So, woohoo! <laughs> uh, let's go home. Where is home? I don't even remember. Corvo Blanco. So yeah, thank you for that tip. That was that was pretty awesome. I was I was I was pretty sure she was a vampire, but that was that was pretty cool because I recognized her face immediately. But we have like a statue we can put up here somewhere. And we have a couple, at least one painting, if you not more. Some nastiness to me. I, I haven't, I didn't do it. Okay. Paintings, where do paintings go? I think in my room? Look at that, my old wool farmer. Yeah, I gotta get enough money to upgrade this place. Dang it, this isn't my room. I keep going over here because it looks like the the chest is over here. But my room's on the main floor? Yeah. Tro- did I get a- no, okay, so I don't have a trophy, I have a statue. Yeah, look at that painting! Legit. So, I'm not sure. Apparently, I can place a statue I have outside. I wasn't aware that I had a statue or places to put statues. I you know. She's fit to wed. Oh, so fit. Um, I'm happy for her. Well, 
Well, where do statues go? I don't know. Scrub off them. You'll soon need to cough them. Uh, what? Ah! I'm sorry. I actually did not mean to hit you. I'm trying to figure out where, where statues go. In the garden? Where's the garden area? Ah! Yeah, my bad. Um... This country probably has so many liver problems. Was the garden over here? I don't know if my Witcher vision will show me where I can put statues. I don't even have a lot of money right now, is the thing. How much money do I have? Not much. I know it costs a whole butt ton of money to... I could do this. Having burned several pots of water in his time, the major dono. I can't believe he doesn't know how to cook, too. Um... The merchants, Ger while wandering around Toussaint, Geralt did not neglect his vocation in the true core of his existence, namely pursuing and slaying monsters. Hmm, night for hire, wine wars. Hmm, father knows worse. Uh oh. Till death do you part. So, come night, something was making much tastelessly grating noise at the city cemetery. Oh yeah. There can only be one. He never thought of himself as particularly virtuous. Alright, let's just go in order. The Hunger Game. Oh boy. Where is it at? Pretty far. So yeah, we'll just do... Well, and I guess I would say I would wander the countryside, except I've been through... Looks like I've maybe not been through the countryside so much, but I've been around this area. So I'll go ahead and fast travel. Amadeus de Trastamara obtained this property from Duchess Carabata, Caraberta. In recognition for her service to Toussaint, the ruler's gift came with an unexpected barb, however, for the whole house turned out to be haunted, and even worse, deep in tax arrears. Trastamara considered the, consulted the druids of Cade Merkvid about his case, and was given the following advice. If you cannot reach a deal with the spectre, let it be and call it a day. Okay. Um... Well then, I'll just uh, hop on over. Man, watching those trailers was legit though. Like I didn't watch all of them. I'm gonna go back and watch the rest of them because it was just like whoa. Like I like it made me realize all over again like why. I mean like this is the final Witcher installment, but like it made me just kind of go kind of like oh man. Like I wish they were making another one, and I can only imagine what people who have been playing this game since like game one are like you know. Like, I don't know, I feel like this game ended well, but like, you know, it would... It's such an interesting story, and I, th I think they're not going to abandon the Witcher universe, but I think they'll maybe, um, maybe not do Geralt's, any more of Geralt's story. Oh boy. It's still very haunted looking. And I can't tell if those dogs are behind me or in front of me. This was the estate, right? That, I mean, this is where we came to get her because it's got all the spoons and stuff. It might have been in that room that I didn't explore because I know there were two paths and I didn't take one of them. So maybe if I had gone over there, I'd have found it. And been like, oh, I already got it. Is it cool? Is that cool if I have it? <laughs> so 
So there shouldn't be anything spooky. Yeah, so this is, if I'd have gone straight, I would have uh, found it, perhaps. Wow. Might want to look around some. Oh, wow. I wish I'd have gone in here. So many spoons. Like, wow, even more spoons than I thought there would be. The whole place is covered in them. Nothing interesting here. Hurry. Full. Full of what? Nasty? Like, they've been in here for who knows how long. This one's full too. They sound pretty hollow to me, but I'll trust your judgment. Mm, nothing interesting here. Yeah, how can you tell? The dowry could be floating in the wine and you would never know. I know in the trail, most of the trailers he has is like um, his long hair and like his beard, but I definitely prefer this hairstyle. This one's full too. Hundred percent prefer this hairstyle. Hmm. Nothing interesting. It's gonna here. be the very last one. I should have started on this side. Full. Or it's not gonna be anything in here at all, and it's gonna be something else. Hmm. Oh, okay. Strange. There we go. Gold stick of joy and hmm. crowns. That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. I couldn't. I can't sell it. I did it. That was a very difficult quest. I'm really glad I completed it. Can I go out this way? No nope. key required. I don't have a key. Lame. I think we just gotta hop up here. Alright, well, we did it. Yay! Let's get out. On to the next quest! So now, so is that like a trophy? That I can put in the house or something? Because I know I needed trophies to put in my room. Alright. Let's make some money. We can upgrade our house. Sorry, Damien. I know we've got a plot underway, but uh, you know how it go. You know how it goes, my, my boy. Wait, wrong. Okay. Uh, wine wars. Sure. No. No Gwent. Never. I think it's got them in order of... No, it doesn't. So, but these, these ones that are grayed out are ones that I won't get a lot of um, XP for. That's fine. Okay, where is this one at? I marked it, right? I did, but it's not showing up on the map. Maybe because I'm still... Nope. Oh. Oh, okay, there it is now. Very far. Very, very far. Um. Oh, uh, well, look. Let's go, hang on. We'll go look at this. Location or something that I have not found. I was gonna say, maybe I'll just run for a bit to like the next town over. I think whatever this is, is like a monster nest of dogs though. Cause I can hear them barking. Oh, is there anything in here? Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, a little cemetery. Or maybe, yeah. Guarded treasure. Ooh, I could do some guarded treasure. Who's guarding it? More water creatures? Foglets! Why? Oh, hey, it's not even foggy! Get out of here! Alright. Let's see. We're gonna, we're gonna test our metal because we've upped the ante on the on the difficulty, right? So we need... 
Uh, is there necrophages, right? Technically? Uh, I think so. I'm gonna go with that. And I will take... That one for sure. Uh, I want the one that does, yeah, that. I won't use too many because last time we did a fight, it wasn't actually that bad. What should I do? I should do Yerden. I don't know if Yurden actually works on them. Aha! Got you! I think it works on them a little. Essence. I can hear all the um, freaking dogs somewhere, though. Where is this treasure? Uh oh, sorry, person. Smeagol, Serkis notes. Spoon made of pure gold. Lots of stuff. I've lost him, my dearest. Someone has stole. I knew it! I knew it, my precious! Someone has stolen him, my darling, my treasure, my spoon. The creature from the Carabata Woods must have been it. All the help says the town's abuzz of talk about missing spoons for much time now, indeed. Since this creature has stolen cutlery from all Blue Claire and not been caught yet by our valiant guard, it means it must be clever, tricky even. And anyone clever can be swayed by arguments, even fin especially financial ones. So I asked my jeweler, Mathenberg, to take make me a spoon out of pure gold, which I shall take to the Carabata Woods to find that monster and propose this trade. A spoon of gold for my most precious spoon. Uh-huh, that was gonna work out. Smeagol, my precious. Um, I would like to upgrade my... My, the rest of my... Uh, what are they called? Concoctions that I have, too. But... I don't think I'm gonna be getting to that. Um, but, so, okay, so we've still got the wine wars selected, but anything else nearby? Entrance to a cave, undiscovered location. There's a couple undiscovered locations. Ooh, and a monster nest. Um, well, sure, we'll just run around over here looking for monsters. Why not? Just follow the road. Wait, is there... Ooh. If nothing else, I can sell some of these things. Besides, I think the path I'm gonna take is gonna... Man, those things are disgusting looking! Blueberries! Yum yums! That's what I want. I want... I want food. Oh, hi! More foglets? I dodged right in the end. Okay, cool. Oh, look how fast my, my health is regenerating, too, with this with the potion thing that I've gotten. Like, potion I've got on. You guys seem to travel in packs of three. Where are those dogs at? Oh my gosh, how many foglets? I 
can just pick stuff up. Oh, there's two of you! I didn't notice there's two of you! I only saw the one! Should have known. You guys travel in packs. Woo! Look at that health damage, though. Yikesies. Don't mind me. Just running through these... I guess it is kind of foggy here. Just running through these fog-haunted forests. More foglet? No, you're a bug. I don't care about bugs. Foglet's just waiting to trap people on the roads. Ah, and you're, you're, you're the specter dogs. to pick up whatever they drop, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really have a use for it, as far as I know. Ooh, Elven Ruins! Oh, I think these are the ruins I've actually been to before. Do you see me? No? Yeah? No? I mean, whatever, man, I live and let live. Are you like your bugs? Okay. Ooh. Guarded treasure. What? What is it? Is it a vampire? I think it's a vampire-y type thing. Yeah, they're vamp. They're definitely vampire-y things. And I'll take the black blood. Excellent Witcher, I know exactly what I'm fighting at any given time. Yeah, I see you, stupid necrophages down there. Alright, let's read the gherkin! The gherkin! <laughs> Garkin, not a gherkin. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what did I get on the insectoids? Was it giant centipedes? Uh... The greatest obstacles are thick armor. They will often parry the strike and reply with their own forceful counter. Catch them in a yurden trap. Oh, okay. So that's how to keep them from burrowing. Okay, burrowing? It's fine. I know how to speak. Pale widows. Ooh. That's cool. They make... Apparently these guys make excellent... Uh, Potion, potion for mutagenic potions. Excellent ingredients. Detlef, I think. No. Garkin! Blood on the ceiling, guts on the wall, must be a Garkin. Garkin Garkanes, like the flaters, belong to the class of particularly dangerous vampires whose strength exceeds even that of fiends. An encounter with one of their number almost always ends in death, which is why there are not many eyewitnesses. 
uh, accounts of them. From the city guard reports written up in Lawn Exeter describing the attacks committed in that city in 1104 by three Garkins, later killed by a certain Oliver de Gula Witcher, seems that these horrible monsters do not content themselves with drinking the blood of their victims. The investigators concluded from the blood and guts strewn around the crime scene that the Garkins tear their victims to shreds with great delight and muck about in their bloody entrails. All right, so Moondust and Samum and the black blood in this was good, but also fire seems to work really well against vampire types. So, oh, that's cool, something new. Neato. Uh, um, at least you didn't get torn to shreds, my fellow. I was like, this better have something. To Saint Ducal guards, guard stuff. Sure, I'll just take, I'll just take it all. Why not? Oh, a letter. Letter appears to have been read hundreds of times. Some words have worn away. My dearest Noel, I know you don't support my decision. Understand it was not easy for me, but I have decided. I will lead the expedition to the Terms ruins. The information, I, the information I might acquire there will mark a new height in my career. Eligible fragments. I do not know what arguments I would have to use for you to understand. I do not seek to rival you. I understand this is a simple a matter of ambition to you, but our scholarly work should not affect things between us. I believe once you have pieced it all together in your head, you will join us as my assistant, and together we shall discover with blah blah blah. Yours forever, Isabel. Uh oh. That did that apparently did not work out very well for you. I think you all died. Any other stuff here? Yeah. Elven armorer's tools. What? Oh, I can investigate his body. Professor Noel Ivers journal. Diagram for the... Apparently I could make it all right here. Whoa, greater mutagen transmit. Whoa. Lots of stuff from you, guy. Journal has been kept chaotically full of stains. Lots of incomprehensible scribblings and the entries are not dated. Every day I regret what I said then. How could I have been so foolish? How Why did I not agree to become her assistant? Fie upon you, base ambition. Oh, Isabel, forgive me. Enough in action. I'm off to Beauclair. If I find you alive, Isabel, I will fall on my knees and plead for forgiveness. And if you're gone, enough of this wallowing in self-pity. Time to get to work. I have chosen the most talented and hardworking of my students. And for my assistant, I have named my most clever adjunct, Philip Bora. The Academy Chancellery has accepted the plan for our expedition. We need to, put to collect our equipment and hit the road. Unbelievable. Philippe has the audacity to point out to me that eating egg salad sandwiches while traveling in closed carriage is poor manners. What arrogance. And to think I prized him above all my adjuncts, I could not have imagined a worse start to our eight-week journey. A few pages are stuck together by some sticky substance. Mayonnaise? I certainly hope so. We have arrived. I fear entering these ruins. I fear what I shall find there. I think I lack the strength to face the truth. The impertinent upstart Philip Barat has driven, is driving me completely mad. He's accused me of idleness and indecision. How dare he hurl such insults in the presence of an, other members of our expedition? He does not understand who my beloved Isabel was and who she is to me. I, I do not wish to... I cannot face the truth. I'm off, alone at the moment. For I do not wish to see them when I find... I will begin by searching the ruins of the temple abutting the river. Oh. Is that... Do I get a new quest from that? That sounds like kind of questy. Hmm. Didn't say anyway that I did. Oh, his body was the. Ooh, thank you. Oh, but these were the these were the ruins he was searching by the river. Oh, and I wonder if Isabel was the one leading that the doomed expedition that was nearby. Um. These ones, the Terms Palace ruins, which is where I think that episode got lost or something, where I was like, I was like hunting down, um, the it got like it got like messed up or something. I think, oh, I remember like my Elgato like glitched out and I lost the entire recording. Oh, but yeah, there's the there's the the place of power. So this is the place where I went to um, get a uh, Witcher gear. I think I was trying to get more Wolven gear, maybe. Uh, might have been the Manticore stuff, too. Um, but yeah, this is where I went for that. And there was, like, the cool archaeology expedition that went there that was, like, doomed. And, and uh, yeah, it was interesting stuff. So that's interesting. Like, just right close by. Like, he was... Why did he decide to start searching here, though? Like, I can see why his, his adjunct or whatever would blame him of indecision and whatnot because... Obviously, you would go to the place where the bigger one, like you go to the bigger ruins. That's where I would 
start a search for archaeologists. I wouldn't go to a smaller one. Um, he sounds he sounds pretty full of himself. This guy, though. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for him. He, you know, died, and that sucks, but... I wonder if I can... just run along the river. A drowner! Oh my gosh! You guys Show have any treasure? You You're still... I, did I save it after changing the difficulty level? I'm pretty sure I did. This game is so dang pretty. Whatever CD Projekt Red decides to make, and I, they so like that cyberpunk one they've got. Like, it's gonna be really different, like completely different from Witcher fantasy esque type stuff. You know? Are you what? Person in distress. Oh, ow! What? Ow! What? I didn't even do anything. I, I didn't even do anything. Oh, I had the wrong sword out. Ow! Please stop hitting me with arrows. I'm just gonna at least kill this guy, and then I'm gonna get the bowman. Where's the other bowman? He's like behind me somewhere, isn't he? There he is. Wait, I think I, I got him. I got him to change to a sword. Nope, other one. Okay, this one's fine. Whatever. Jeez, Louise. The trailers also showcase like just how fast Geralt is compared to regular humans. Like it was like, whoa. Like you can't do that much battle, like that fast a battle in a game, I think, in a lot of ways, but otherwise it become a hack and slash. I thank you, sir. Were it not for you, well, those bandits were not pulling pranks. I could pound some new steel for you in gratitude. But I must first return to my workshop in Belgard. Uh, well, I mean, she's there. Drop by when I'm in the area. I already have what I like, so no big deal, guy. But I will definitely loot. I can sell that. I can sell the silverware. I don't really want what they had on them, probably. But that stuff I can definitely use. At least if I wanted to craft anything, I guess. Which I don't really know if I want to, but... Homemade pepper vodka. Can always use more alcohol. Amateur repair kit. Yeah, aura column. Sweet. Silver ingot. Sure. Cool beans. Let's head out this way. No, just mushrooms. Whatever it is, I know it's close to the water. What? Is this like a... Oh, a bandit camp. Oh, I don't know about a bandit camp. I don't know if I'm ready for a bandit camp. I don't know if I'm... Wait, um... Hang on. Where's my humanoid one? Here we go. Ow! Circle him! Circle him! Give me the bowman! That guy's got a mace. He is no fun. Oh, oh. I oh, oh you mace guy. I don't like you. Oh, that went significantly easier. It was significantly easier. So, it's, it's true that the, the potions are required. Like, the potions and mutagens and all that stuff are basically required if you're going to be playing on harder difficulties. I'll take your, your stuff. Oh, you're red. 
Oh, not. Okay. Nope. Uh, Nate. Adjunct. Oh, this is Philippe! Baguette with fish paint. Sure, why not, buddy? First day of the month of Burke. The very first day, and I already regret agreeing to participate in this mission. The journey itself will take eight weeks. Besides, I do not believe anyone from Isabelle Duchamp's lost expedition remains alive. It's been years. Professor Ivar has taken a hearty supply of egg salad sandwiches with him for the robe. A few stages are glued together by some sticky substance, probably mayonnaise. Uh, we've arrived. Professor Ivor gave the order to pitch camp near the ruins of Thames, the place where the missing group led by Professor Duchamp was supposed to carry out its excavations, and we drank two bottles of wine and went to sleep. The Thames Palace ruins. The very thought of them sends shivers down my spine. Nevertheless, I believe we should begin our search in the ruins themselves. Yet the professor keeps beating around the bush and spends most of his time curled up with a bottle. My suggestion to head deeper into the woods and look for signs of the expedition was shrugged off with a comment about my impertinence and an accusation of, of trying to take over leadership for the expedition. The professor has perished. He departed yesterday morning and did not return to camp by evening. We shall soon set out to look for him. Perhaps that drunkard finally dared visit the ruins. Uh, I was kind of wondering what happened to Philippe, but, um, oopsie. Uh, he met a bitter end as well. That sucks. Um, I think I already... The... Uh, what? I think I already have all these, but whatever. Right. He's got two journals. Interesting. Exquisite honey. Mm -hmm. I think I already looked at these. Oh, I did not. I like that I don't have to search like every single like scrap of any of these like every single bag sometimes you have to do that like they, they were trying to like maybe expedite things by not making you search every single box i think those are the ruins right there they're beautiful freaking beautiful i remember i was like running i was running all over them i thought they were just really really pretty some of the most intact ruins i think we've seen um, and then there was this one over here. Might as well. I can always run back to the Thames and fast travel, but, I mean, no big deal. Or go over to the cemetery and get that monster nest. But, or, or I can take this road right here. Up to places I haven't been yet. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, that looks cool. Looks interesting. Lots of stuff along the waterways here. I gotta get more money so I can upgrade my house. Off we go. Wait, is it is it the way I'm facing? No. Well, okay, I'll have to go a little past it to whatever that is. <laughs> I don't think there's a road. Did I see a road to it? Nope. No, I just have to run through till I get to that big that big road. That's fine. We'll just run through the foliage and hope we don't encounter any bears. It's very purple here. No. Man. This game is so cool. Okay. So this is probably that main road. Yeah. I'll just keep running for it. I could run up and grab that road, but I might as well just keep running straight through. As long as I don't fall off a cliff or something. Jeez. That would be terrible. I. What? Oh, this is. The weevils what? are put in that cave. It's made its lair there. It's swallowed fill and whole. Oh, is this the. Is this. Whoa there, sir. I guess those swords on your back aren't there as festoons. 
Maybe you could help me. Maybe. Depends. Well, there's a cave that, to my mind, would be splendid for aging wine. Not over dry, and none too moist. But... Well, damn thing's full of noise. The arse clenching sort. Clinkety, <laughs> bangety, knockety kind. Two <laughs> clerk to see been two days. And he's not back. You sent your clerk in there? to do with the elven ruins. Blah. That about the cave. So, lend us a hand, will you? Uh, let's talk about my reward. Could help, provided you can pay. Let's get to the halfway mark. Uh, a little Agreed. over. No, oh, dang it. Fine. I'll have a look in the cave. See what lurks there. All right. Cleaning those hard to reach places. Woohoo! That that is part of um. Yeah, that's that one. So we just happen to stumble upon one that will actually get. Oh no! Wait. Uh. Oh no! This wasn't one that I picked up from a place. It was just one that is. Kill monsters which have infested the grotto. So that's one I just found as I was wandering. It sounded very similar to another wine one. All these quests are gonna be wine related. Um, but I should probably call this one here. I didn't realize how quite how long this was getting, but 40, 40 minutes or so is a good one. But next time we'll have to continue killing monsters, racking up some money, and we can upgrade our house. And then we'll go take care of the plot that's gonna try to destroy Tucson or something. <laughs> Uh, hope you don't mind game <laughs> and I hope you guys don't mind either um, but yeah let me know what you think and thank you again and I will see you in the next one